Hello, hi, I just wanted to show you very quickly three things which I think are useful about searches. The first one is a website called Trip Database, which is a meta search. Um, well, it's based in Wales, which is why I like it. No, it's not right, it's very good. Um, but I'll show you what it'll do. So if you just put your term in there and click search. Now, I'm doing this on a netbook, which is why it's a little bit slow and is normally this is not a particularly slow website or anything. You'll see over here that you can filter your search. So green is strongest, highest quality of evidence, evidence-based synopsis and systematic reviews, and there are none of these about this condition. Blue um, are clinical questions and answers, which are normally evidence-based. Nobody's ever asked a clinical question or answer about it. Then we've got core primary research, which is from this, I think it's the six big journals, including New England Journal of Medicine, JAMA, etc. And you can see there's two articles there from it. And extended primary research is, uh, I'm not sure what journals actually make it in there, but they're, they're original uh, pieces of work. And then you've got also it's searching e-textbooks and also patient information leaflets. And uh, they can be really useful for... Um, SSCs because it's nice to look at what the kind of information that's there for pa patients and compare it to other forms of literature. So it's actually, in this case, it's um, part of the NIH, which is uh, US National Institute for Health, Health Information, and this condition must be mentioned under lymphedema and rescue diseases. So that's basically about this um, trip database. It's really worth having a look around. You can see of things within it. Then I'm going to show you uh, PubMed, which I'm sure by now you are very familiar with. But just since you were talking about particular problems, being able to access uh, articles, I wanted to remind you that PubMed does have a feature where you can only access free full text articles, which means you'll definitely get them. You see PubMed is pulling up 882 documents about this condition and 232 that are free full text. Uh, so you would be able to limit your search more uh, and uh, but you'd be able to definitely get things that you have access to there then to look at good old Google which of course you would never use as your prime source uh, way of searching but always good to have as backup so and I'm sure you know that within Google you can look at Google Scholar and if you go to Google Scholar you'll see that down here along the side are it shows like HTML and as far as I can understand um, these always will be uh, full text so if we click on this um, this is from the journal uh, journal of biological something and when we go through to it, and I'm not logged in, uh, I'm at home now and I'm not logged in as any special kind of thing, but hopefully not logged into university, I mean. Let's see if this will work. It's low. Hmm. Okay. Try one more. Oh yeah, sorry, there it is. Oh, I don't know why it's come up. Another window, sorry about that. So anyway, I'll let you explore this. Normally I actually use um, Chrome as a browser, but for some reason this is new. I didn't have Java installed, so I went to this. Anyway, that's a quick look and hope that you can find that useful. Bye-bye. And it's really nice to see a student blogging.